Caitlin, what are you guys doing? We're playing Black Leopard Family. And playing Black Leopard Family. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's really bright, but my parents came by last night and they dropped off a playset that uh, they've had at their house for quite a while. And we're going to get it set up. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, I'm not sure how much setup we'll do today, but uh, <laughs> but we want to get it set up so we can play with it sometime, so they can swing. Anyway, uh, welcome to Sunday. It should be a good day. Sammy. We're about to watch the Slow Mo Guys new video. We haven't seen it yet. But it's the Lego Plane Crash. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you don't watch the Slow Mo Guys, you should. They're pretty awesome, the stuff they do. And pretty entertaining. So, But my kids love it. Emma's going to get the other kids that are outside to come watch it because she wants them to see it. <laughs> Yuck! Oh, that's juice. Like, it's like red worms. You need to film it better, but... I'm glad they did it. He can pop it. Dora can't pop it, so... Well, it, it there's way too much water in it. What you doing, Caitlin? Are you feeding the chickens? Yeah. Are they going crazy? Where'd it go? Under. You can reach under and get it. Here you go. It was getting too close to my fingers. <laughs> Ew. That's great. I keep dropping down because. Their beaks are pulling them really hard. Whoa! Hey, well this is our second year in our house. Uh, last year we did a few projects. We haven't been able to do too many this year yet. Uh, kind of depends on real estate. I do real estate on the side and when we get a real estate deal we have the money to do a project but right now we don't I do have one real estate deal coming but anyway so last year we did the chicken coop and little garden area and we did the grass and sprinklers and I also did solar panels myself got those installed but uh, we have a lot more to do still it would be nice getting it all finished can't wait till we get a fence in have a little bit more privacy so but anyway, we might as well just do a little yard tour. So our raspberries aren't doing so great this year. We did have a blueberry as well. Our grapes are doing great. We just planted those. Need to do that fence for them. This tomato plant's doing really good over here. Um, all of our squash died. Our squash, pumpkins, everything died this year. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, we're still working on the front yard. This year we added some dirt to the garden net box areas. We added this little guy right here. It's a trumpet vine. If you can see that. We really like that. I love hummingbirds and hummingbirds like those plants. We got our hummingbird feeder in as you guys saw in the first vlog. It's, we've gotten a pretty steady flow of hummingbirds in the evening with that. But anyway, so we got the curbing in end of last year. Then we added some fill dirt. Grass sprinklers we did last year of course. I mentioned that. So we have one little tree planted up here, a little Japanese maple. Need to clean up the yard a little bit. We have a lot of work to do in the yard still. Um, with me working so much, Andrea's been kind of left to herself to do the yard this year. and Haven't really been able to do it, so. 
And on this side, it's just dirt over here. A uh, little lawnmower I got for free last week. It needs two tires, so I got the steering wheel off eBay. But right now, it's just kind of junked over here. We got to bring in some gravel, which we're going to do before the end of the summer. And then we have a drip line ran over here for sprinklers, if I can get it to focus. There we go. So we ran a drip line over here, so we'll do a little garden bed right there as well. And then the rest of this will be gra uh, driveway, gravel, dirt. And we're going to extend our driveway out as well. We're going to extend it out on this side right here. We've gotten this mostly prepped. We're waiting for the builders to come in. They're going to extend it for us. And they're going to repair our sidewalk that, as you can see, has gotten pretty bad. But the builder will come in and fix that sometime this year hopefully anyway there's a quick little tour of our yard nothing fancy yet a lot of work to be done i'm hoping i don't have to work as long or as much next year uh things are starting to catch up finally um, but between real estate photography and everything going on makes me pretty busy so but uh next year should be better I plan on getting more things done in the yard. Andrea is awesome. She's been weeding the yard and watering things and taking care of it. But it's a lot of work for her to do with four kids and especially a newborn. So hoping this the this fall and next year I'll be able to do a lot more around here to help her. Okay, we are heading to church now. We got everybody in the car. Say hi guys. Hi. Emma, say hi. Okay, so we're back from church, and uh, I just had a real embarrassing moment. The uh, bishop told me that he was going to be make, giving some callings this morning, and <laughs> he told me what they were, and of course it has to do with my calling being ward mission leader. And uh, so after church, me thinking that he had given the calling this morning, he was walking past me in the hall, the bishop was, and he was kind of giving me a little head nudge, and I looked behind him were these, this couple that was going to be getting that calling. I assumed they'd already gotten the calling and I thought the bishop was giving me a head nudge to go talk to them. Nope, they hadn't gotten the calling. So I walk up to him and I said, hi, I'm Brother Pearson. I guess you're ward missionaries now. And they, they were a little confused. And I get, well, maybe. And the bishop was like, <laughs> So anyway, I totally just blew their calling on their way to the bishop's office to get the calling. So I felt kind of dumb about that. <laughs> I totally thought the bishop was nudging me to go talk to him. Uh, anyway, so that was fun. We're back home now. My in-laws are coming. Andrea's parents are coming over for dinner. I'm going to cook some curry. I'll do a little video of me making the curry. Uh, really easy. As you can buy the mixes from Walmart and from the Asian markets around here. So I'll do a good little video of that for dinner. And then uh, we'll uh, get some video tonight. Still getting used to this whole vlogging thing, but uh, it's it's been fun, and it's fun to go back and watch them. So, anyway.
Okay, so I've been making Japanese curry today. I uh, served an LDS mission to Japan, and I love Japanese food. I love curry. I actually had Japanese curry before. I used to work at Hogi Yogi, and uh, they have the exact same curry that I ate in Japan as a missionary. So, if you guys remember the Hogi Yogi teriyaki stick places, those aren't there around much anymore. But anyway, so it's real simple: onions, carrots, uh, potatoes. Um, I put garlic in. We use a curry package. I'll show you that in a minute. And we also use coconut milk. Coconut milk is really good in curry. So if you have any questions or comments or want to know the recipe, comment below. I'll give it to you. And as you can see, we're doing a pork curry today. We've done chicken and beef, uh, even fish before. Uh, a lot of meats work in curry. Um, today we decided to do pork because that's what we had. Um, it'll be good. I smoke it for a little bit to give it a little bit of a smoke flavor and then I cook it the rest of the way in teriyaki sauce and then I mix that in with the curry uh, with the coconut milk. Turns out really good. Hi. Caitlin, are you not feeling good? Yeah, Can you say hi? Okay. Caitlin's not feeling good. But we have Grandpa, Papa, and Grandma over. And every time Grandma comes, she has to clean something. <laughs> I know. I'm cleaning the dish that I got dirty. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Lettuce and that. Emma, can you say hi? <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> are you trying to hit the fly? Fawn grabbed April's phone and jumped out the window. B team, get him, Leo commanded. Mikey and Donnie were offended, but they followed Fawn out the window. Ralph taunted them as they left. Don't be afraid to call for help. Baxter sprayed them with a red mist. Protect your eyes, Leo cried. Well, we enjoyed a nice dinner tonight with my parents and the kids are in bed. The youngest two fell asleep pretty easily. Hopefully the oldest two will go to sleep quickly too. Tomorrow is Braden's first day of school and we're gonna all try to go to bed at a decent time tonight so we're not too tired in the morning. Yeah, I start work again. The last couple of Mondays I've had the mornings off, which has been nice, but this week it's back to the normal schedule on Mondays, which would be fine. It's not too bad. Uh, I have a couple things going on tomorrow, so I won't get home till a little bit later, but it'll be good. I'm grateful for the weekend. Sundays are always great because I work basically six days a week, so Sunday's nice to relax and go to church and be with the family. But anyway, we appreciate you guys watching our vlog, and we hope you subscribe and support us. We're, we're uh, glad that we're able finally to do this, and it's fun to keep track of our days this way. Uh, we'll get better at posting more and more. But for now, it'll just be a couple a week, probably. But we appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful Sunday and a great week. Yep. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.